Hello everyone, hope you are all doing great. Some of you might remember previously I changed my dining area from brown to white and now time to change again. Thinking this table base could be the perfect find to what I would like to achieve this time. Stay tuned to the end of the video so you will find out how this trash turned to treasure. Before we start, I would like to thank to all my subscribers for ongoing support and if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out from any great content. Okay, first give a good clean. Then using heavy duty brake fluid, it will help removing the rust, covering the table base generously with brake fluid and let it immerse about 24 hours. While waiting for that, start to work on the corner nook, removing back and seat cushions. For the wood sections, I'm scuff sanding with 180-200 grade sanding paper. Even I'm going to use extreme edition primer, this piece being painted with high gloss finish, so it is necessary to lightly sand for primer to grip on. Alright, I applied extreme edition primer, following the instructions after drying time, now applying Tatman's water base enamel. Despite it's a water base, it's a quite strong paint I use for all my doors, including bathroom door, there is no flicking or chip on the paint yet. Corner nook sections are drying, now get back to the table base, using wire brush to removing the rust. By the way, if you need to use wire brush on any kind of work, please make sure to wear eye protection. These tiny wires can be very painful. Ok, after rust removal, now doing wet sanding. This will minimize the scratches left by wire brush. No need to sand all the way down to bare metal, just remove all the flaking paint, make an even smooth surface. Then give a good clean. Make sure brake fluid removed from the table and no soap residue left for the paint to adhere. Dry out and ready for painting. Using Rastorian paint and prime. Canyon black color in satin finishes. More details about how to spray paint you can check out my chair makeover video. Leave it to dry and get back to work on the corner nook. You can find the green shape material I'm after, so using one curtain panel which has nice green color in soft velvet. At first this video were going to be only on shorts, that's the reason mostly recorded on portrait mode, but then realized needs to show a little more details. Still I don't want to bore you, so skipping upholstery part here. If any of you are interested, please visit my channel and click my previous videos which clearly demonstrates how to upholstery. Now I'm using Rastorian metallic gold spray paint to large metal cloak, which I'm going to add into the design. Attaching the cloak to the table using fishing line. I'm going to show you close up so you can have better understanding how this works. Cutting the fishing line to the size. Then using metal hole beads. They are very very tiny. Insert fishing line through the bead hole, hold it and place the object. I'm using a cup here because it's easy to hold. And placing the fishing line through the bead hole again. Hold the bead, press pliers firmly and it holds. This is how I have floating objects at my house. Or maybe it's just magic. Placing glass protectors for glass top right on the fishing line so this will help to hold fishing lines on the place whenever moving the table. In addition to this design I want to bring the darker color further up. I don't have any ceiling medallions. For making my DIY version cutting wood wool art to round shape. Also cutting in half making two pieces and open a circle on the middle section. So it can give space to the electric wires and easily place without removing chandeliers. Painted black. I'm sorry if you see any black on my hands, sometimes I don't follow my own advice about wearing protective clothing. I also changed the look of my display cabinet by simply adding paintable wallpaper with a little bit of gold and black paint. For the chairs, remove the legs painted with Rastorium metallic gold. 
then cover it with black velvet slip covers for a quick update. My Silidrine has dining corner, it's ready! I think this clock table turns out perfectly. Truly fits into trash the treasure concept. You weren't able to tell how the clock attached to the table is so magical, right? I hope you guys like it much as I do. If so, press thumbs up, love to hear from you all, so if you have a minute, leave a comment and welcome to share with your friends. Alright, thanks for joining me, hope to see you on the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and everything around you.